The final question, what have we unleashed? In the end, CERN is less about physics and more about us. The myths, the conspiracies, the prophecies, they say more about human nature than about colliders or particles. Why does the idea of a buried machine ending the world feel so believable? Because apocalypse stories are ancient. They've always been with us. From the floods of Mesopotamia to Ragnarok, from Revelation to Nostradamus, every age has its own end of the world myth. Each time, the details change, but the theme stays the same. We fear we've gone too far. We fear that our knowledge will outpace our wisdom. In the 20th century, it was the atomic bomb. In the 21st, it's the collider. The machine becomes a mirror, reflecting our anxieties about progress, secrecy, and the unknown. CERN didn't ask to be a symbol of doomsday, but it became one because we needed it to be. And maybe that's the real apocalypse here. Not fire, not black holes, not portals to hell, but the realization that our minds can conjure the end of the world out of shadows and magnets. The apocalypse isn't physics, it's psychology. Still, the story lingers. Because part of us wants it to be true. Part of us wants to believe we're living on the edge of something vast, something terrifying, something that makes our lives feel like a chapter in a cosmic thriller. So, is CERN the engine of knowledge or the trigger for the end? Science says one thing, myth says another. And between them lies the question we can't resist asking. Not did CERN end the world, but what does it mean that we believe it could?